guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ, our topic for today class. It's all about generating patterns. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we will be guessing the missing terms and then later on we will solve the puzzle. So let's start with number one. So you need to analyze class the sequence. So A, C, E, G. Now you, you will think any, any patterns class or any solution that you can do for A, C, E, G. So let's try to analyze this one. If A, of course in alphabet, a is the first num the first letter, right? Let's assume that A is 1. And of course, B will be 2. C will be 3, right? D will be 4. E will be 5. And F will be 6. And G will be 7. So we have A. We have A, which is 1. We have 3. And 4E is 5. 4G is 7, right? So we have 1, 3, 5 and 7. So 1, 3, 5, 7. So we have A, we have A, we have C, which is 3. We have E, which is 5, and we have G, which is 7. So therefore, the next number here should be 9, 11, and 13. So we will write those letters. So so this will be E, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. So, 7, this will be 8, this will be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, therefore, so the next sequence there, it will be 7 plus 2, it will be I. Because as we can see, plus 1, 3, 5, 7, we will be adding to 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5 for E, 5 plus 2 is 7 for G. So, 7 plus 2, that would be I. So, this will be I. Then, this will be I, 7 plus 2 is I, 7 plus 2 is 9, so that's I, 9 plus 2 is 11, that's K, and 11 plus 2 is 13, that would be M. So our answer will be I, K, M for number 1. So that's the thing there, you will find any solutions for that sequence. So let's try number 2. So for number 2, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, so as you can see, you just simply add 2, right? So 2 plus 2 is 4, what, what, what is... What, the thing, what would be the thing that you will do to make this 2 becomes 4, to make this 4 becomes 6, to make this 6 becomes 8? Of course, you will add 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 2, this will be 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. And this will be 14. Alright, very easy for number 2. So that's the thing that you will do there. You try to analyze the sequence. This one, 5, 15, 25, 35. So therefore... Uh, it's easier, it's easier, right? You will just add 10. 5 plus 10 is 15. 15 plus 10 is 25. 25 plus 10 is 35. So 35 plus 10, this will be 45. Next number will be 55. Alright, so let's try number 4. So number 4, so you analyze class. 1 plus 1, that would be 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus, uh, 3 plus 5 is 8. So 5 plus 8, this will be 13. Next one, 8 plus 13, this will be 21. That's it. Easy, right? For number 4. Let's try this one. Number 5. 10, 100, 1,000. So what would be the thing that you would do to 10 to make it 100? Of course, you just multiply it by 10, right? Because 100 times 10, when you multiply a number by 10, you will just add the number of 0. So you will add 0. So 100 times 10, that would be 1,000. Okay, just copy one zero. Instead of 100, you just add one zero, it will be 1,000. So 1,000 times 10, so you will add one zero, so it will be 10,000, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, add one zero, so it will be 10,000. So this will be 10,000. Simply multiply it by 10. Because 10 times 10, so 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10, that's 1,000. 1,000 times 10, that's 10,000. Alright, that's the answer for number 5. So these are the answer in guessing the missing terms. Now let's try this one, the puzzle. So for number 1, so we have a cross. So given 1, 8, 27, 64, 1, 2, 5. So a cross class, it means that we will be answering that one horizontally. So those are horizontal and this one down, those are vertical. So for number 3, this is number 3. 1, 8, 27, 64, 1, 2, 5. What, what would be the thing that you observed, class? For 1, 8, 27, 64, and 1, 2, 5. Now, for 1, 8, those are 
1,8,27,64,125, those are perfect cubes. If you multiply 1 by itself thrice, so 1 cube is equals to 1, right? Because 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. If you have 2 cube, right, so let's write that one. 1, 8, 27, 64, 1, 2, 5. Of course, for 1, if you write this one as 1 cube, of course, 1 cube is still 1. Because 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 2 cube, so 2 cube, it means 2 times 2 times 2. You multiply 2 by itself thrice, 2 times 2 times 2, you will get 8. For 27, it will, it will, it's the same with 3 cube. 3 times 3 times 3, that would be 27, right? So you find ways, class, you find anything that you can observe with the sequence. For 64, that would be 4 cube, because 4 times 4 is 16. So 4 times 4 times 4, 4 times 4 you multiply 4 by itself twice, that would be 16, times another 4. 16 times 4, let's check. 4 times 6 is 24, carry 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 64. So 64, it means 4 cubed. So the pattern there's there, class, is that would be this this one is the cube root. Right? Cube root of 27 is 3. Cube root of 64 is 4. So this 1 to 5, it will be 5 cubed. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So next number will be 6 cubed. 6 cubed. So 6 times 6 is 36. Times 6, another 6, because it's mean, it mean, it says 6 cubed. You multiply 6 by itself thrice. So 6 times 6, 36, carry 3. 6 times 3 is 18. Plus 3, that's 21. So the answer for number 3 class across horizontally this will be 216 all right let's try number five across so let's move on to number five so for number five class what have you noticed four becomes 20 20 becomes 100 100 becomes 500 of course we will be multiplying it by five right because four times five is 20 20 times five is 100 and 100 times 5, that's 500. So 500 times 5, 500 times 5, that would be 0. 0 times 5 is 0. 5 times 5 is 25. All right. 500 times 5. So 0, 0, 5 times 5 is 25. 2,500 for number 5. 2,500 across, of course, that would be horizontal. Alright, so let's try number 7. So 1 plus 1, same with number 4. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. Therefore, 8 plus 5, this will be 13. So number 7 is 13. Alright, for number 8, across, so you check the pattern class. Now if you have this kind of given uh, examples, so you have the letters. So you try to analyze class, the, the month, okay, the month, the years. Or whatever that you can analyze so for this one this will be for months right january february march april may june july august so this will be next will be september okay october november and december right so these are months as you can see january february march april may june july august september october november december Alright, so these are months. So once again, our answer for number 3 is 216. This will be 25. And this will be 13. So our answer for number 8 is, is S-O-N-D. September, October, November, December. S-O-N-D. Alright, so we're done with across. Let's proceed now to down. So vertical for number 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So you will just add 2, right? For number 1. Easy for number 1, right? So you will just add 2. So this will be 10. Uh, th this is 10. So 10 plus 2, this will be 12 for number 1. 12. So we have 2 here on the bottom part. So we will just add 1. So for number 1 is 12. For number 2, 1, 2, 8, 64, 32. So as you can see, you just need to divide it by 2. 1, 2, 8 divided by 2, that's 64. 64 divided by 2, that's 32. So 32 divided by 2, this will be 16. Number 2 is 16. So you just add 1 since you have 6 already for number 2. So number 4, 110, 100, and 1000. 
uh, same with number 5, I think. You will just multiply it by 10. So, 1 times 10 is 10. 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10, 1,000. 1,000 times 10, just add 1, 0. This will be 10,000 for number 4. Where is number 4? 10,000. Right, that's correct. So, 1, to 10,000. That's correct for number 4. This is 10,000. Alright, so number 5. 3, 9, 27, 81. So, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. 81 times 3. So, mo just multiply it by 3. Plus. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 8 is 24. 243. So, 5 down, 2, 4, 3. So, you will just add 4. 2, 4, 3. Alright, so number 6. We have 1A, 2B. So, the, the numbers are... Um, the numbers are consecutive, 1, 2, 3. So, letters are consecutive also, A, B, C. So, therefore, this should be 1, 2, 3. Next will be 4, and next letter will be D, 4D. Alright, that's how you check the pattern class. For number 9, we have O, T, T, F, F, S, S, E. So, these are arrangement of the numbers, right? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Next number will be 9. 9, right? So 9. Alright, 9. So this, this will be 2. Alright, 2 spaces. So 9 and then last one is 10. 9, 10. So this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then 10. So, NT, 9 and 10. Alright, so we're done with the patterns. So, I hope you learned something new today. So, if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe. Share it to your friends' class and to your classmates so that, so that we can help them. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. And goodbye for now. You have a great day, class. Have a great day. Bye-bye.